words hear the sound to this valley may your souls forever be bound <laughs> It's been three years since that night. Her spell cursed us all. I defeated her the next day, but that didn't break the curse. We've all been stuck here all this time, and my friends... Ugh. They keep telling me not to worry, but I can't help feeling guilty for being the only one allowed to keep my own body. I have a son now, Connor, and a husband, Sebastian. He's a local and a wonderful man. He's been really good to me and to my friends. Over time, we just kind of fell in love. And now, here we are. We've all tried to move on. This place, Pelican Town, weird name, I know. But it's pretty cool. The people are very nice and very accepting, and a little shallow. But hey, as someone who has survived both Cornelia and Sunnydale High, this is nothing. But I haven't been lazy, I've put on my big girl pants, I maintain the farm now, I take care of my new family and my old family, and Giles says he's really proud of me. And every day I try to find a way to break this curse. For that end, I befriended the local wizard, because apparently that's a thing here. Anyway, he used to be married to the witch, yikes. But he couldn't help us. Needless to say, I haven't found anything useful yet, but I have hope. Oh, a job! Finally! Why do these places always have to be dark, damp, smelly and creepy? Haven't they heard of home decor?
what's this? Shiny. Knock, knock. Am I disturbing you? Ah, Buffy. No, come in, come in. Hmm? I found something in the mines. Oh, oh, how intriguing. This is an energy stone known as the Void Essence. Yeah? Does that mean what I think it means? No, oh, no, I'm sorry, Buffy. I'm afraid that though the stone may be quivering with dark energy, it has not enough power to break your friend's curse. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Hmm. What? There have been rumors going around these parts about the mysterious man placing treasure in mines and challenging adventurers to take on some dangerous quests. So a bad guy? Well, yes. Probably. Probably? You don't know? New adventurers come and go often around these parts, but no one has ever really found a body. Hmm. Alright, I'll look into it. But Buffy, be careful. This guy is dangerous. Don't worry, I can handle myself. Well, if people come and go often around here, then there should be some kind of record of it, right? Wow, Willow is really rubbing off on me. Hey, I'm looking for some records about the people in this town. Could you help me? Sure. Bookcase by the wall, third from the right. Thanks! Oh, 
Okay, let's see here. Um, Crystallarium, new invention, no. Legendary fish, no. Ah, oh, there it is. Ugh, so many numbers. I'd better bring this to Giles. This is most alarming. Have you found something? It seems that, every so often, an adventurer or a smuggler comes to the valley in search of a new life. They stay for a few years, then they disappear, and are never heard from again. And you think this mystery man is behind this? Yes, well, I can't say for certain, however, but I have found something they all have in common. What is it? Well, it seems that, at some point, all of them have travelled to something called the Skull Cavern. I believe this cavern is located somewhere in the Calico Desert. Well, now we know what my next stop is. Wait, Buffy, are you sure you want to do this alone? You don't have any backup. Faith, this guy could be the proverbial cure we've been looking for. I have to go. I do agree that this matter merits further investigation. However, Faith is right. This could be very dangerous. I agree. We don't know much about this town yet. And the rest of us are our commission. So we need you to be very careful. Ugh, well, the only preparing I can do right now is uh, going to visit the man in the sewers and seeing if he knows anything. I don't want to, but I'll do it. You mumbling. You seem scared, but I have to admit, it was kind of cute. Aw, you say the sweetest things. Thanks for worrying, but I'm okay. I'll be back later today.
sewers. Why sewers? Hey, how you doing? It's cold, it's damp, it smells, what do you think? Alright, save me the attitude. I came here on business. There ain't gonna be no business if I don't see no coin. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Fine. Thank you. So, what do you know about the Skull Cavern? That place? It's the Magic Fingers Playground. That no good for brains. How do you mean? Imagine this town through a few centuries. Now imagine all the creatures that had attacked it during these centuries. And now imagine all those creatures stuffed into a hole. Oh wait. You don't have to imagine it, because they are there! Haha! <laughs> so it's actually a prison. Thanks for the intel. And, you know, it won't kill you to use some air refresher in here. Welcome, dear customer. I have some wonderful items in my stock. Please, take a look. Actually, I... Yes, I have the most wonderful treasure trove. And look, only five Omnigeodes. Oh, fine. Give me one. Now, could you tell me where I could find the Skull Cavern? Ah, an adventurer, I see. The cavern you seek lies by the pond in the north. Awesome, thank you. Good luck to you, adventurer. It's me. It seems we have another one. Well then, we must prepare them a marvelous welcome. <laughs>